Hi hey everyone. In this video, I wanted to really quickly make sure you were aware that it's now possible to create distinct conditional access policies for both M365 Copilot and Security Copilot. So Microsoft have published an article that goes through this. So if we jump over to the article super quickly, we can see that the first step is you do have to go and create these specific service principles for the M365 Copilot and the Security Copilot. So in this case, we're using the Microsoft Graph PowerShell module, and it's just gonna go and add these particular app IDs, which are the same. It's the same for every tenant. She's so gonna go and run these commands. And we can see I've already run these in my tenant. And after you run them, you can see sure enough, I've got that idea of, hey, I can see the enterprise copilot platform got created and the security copilot got created. So those will now be available as applications within my conditional access policies that I could target. And now once you've done that, if we just jump over to enter, so now what I can do is if I've gone ahead and normal and I'm saying, hey, I wanna target a particular resource, I wanna do select resources, and then I can actually select the ones I want, over here on the right hand side, I'll now have those two options available. So if I, for example, type security, well sure enough, I can select the security copilot. If I was to type enterprise, we can see the enterprise copilot platform. So you can do whatever combination you want. You could create a new policy, you could add it to an existing one, but now I'm targeting that, you'd obviously as normal target the particular users and groups, you'd probably potentially want to exclude your break glass accounts, um, your service principles you may use for like automations. And then you can apply the various conditions and grants. So maybe if it was the M365 Copilot, some examples they say in the documentation, well maybe I would want strong authentication. So I'd require an authentication strength, and then maybe I would say, hey, I want phishing resistant, for example. You can see that's one of the built-in ones available to you. You might also say, for example, well, for my conditions, one of the things it can hook into is the purview inside a risk. So I could actually require, hey, to be using this, we want a lower risk, and maybe I would block it if it was a high risk you could hook into all of the regular conditional access policies, things that you're used to doing. So just the key point here is now they are available for you. Don't forget the copilots run as the user's principle. They can't do anything or access anything the user couldn't, but it's generally a case of maybe you've not locked down the data correctly. So you still need to do that. This is not a replacement for using things like purview to discover, classify, protect your data but if I then want to add on some additional protection on the leveraging of the copilots, hey, now I can go and do that for the M365 copilot and today the security copilot. As always, I hope that was useful. Till the next video, take care.